I have the secret to make you look like a professional logo or text designer. And I'm about to tell you step by step how to create this amazing glitch text effect in just a few minutes. Let's open up Photoshop. First, we're gonna create a beautiful background. Head over to the layer panel and in here, click the new fill button. Choose solid color and let's make the background black. Then click on OK. Now to make our background look glitchy like mine, double click the color fill layer to open up the layer styles window. In here, enable the texture settings. Then choose a pattern. For me, the trees works perfectly fine. You can play around with the scale and depth if you want. When you're done, go to the blending options and disable the red and green color channel. That will make the background look blue. Okay, now we're gonna start working on the text. Head over to the toolbar and click the text tool. Then in your canvas, left click and type in the text you want. For example, error. With the text selected, you can customize the text completely to your liking, such as the font and whatever. To change the size of the text, hit escape on your keyboard and hold down control plus T to resize and position it to your liking. Now when that's done, go to the layer panel and right click your text layer. Choose rasterize. This will turn your text into a normal layer. Let's start with making the text glitch. Double click the text layer in the layer panel to open up the layer styles. First, we want to turn off red colors. To do that, deselect R and then click on OK. Now duplicate this layer by selecting it and pressing Ctrl plus J on your keyboard. Double click the duplicated layer. Now we want to turn off the greens. So this time, turn off G. Also turn red back on. Great. Now in your canvas, when you offset one of these two layers, you will see the chromatic aberration effect occurring. And now it's time to play around with this. Just a little bit. First, make sure the first text layer is selected. Go to the toolbar on the left and grab the rectangular marquee tool. Then in your canvas, create a box around a spot in your text. Then hold on control and drag that selection to offset it. Do that a few times. When you're done, select the top layer and do the same thing. This already looks great. Little bonus tip, using the marquee tool, create a very thin selection in your text to offset it. This will really create that glitchy pixel effect you're looking for. Okay, now that we're done, we're gonna create a glowing background. To do that, hold on control and select both the text layers. Press control plus J to duplicate them. We're gonna turn the bottom two into a glow. To do that, select the first one and go to the filter menu on top. Then go to blur and find the Gaussian blur effect. Increase it to your liking and there you go. Now do the same thing for the other layers to blend in the colors beautifully. Another way to make your text more special is by making it 3D. So to learn everything about that, click the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching.